Well, I started filming this video here Saturday afternoon about 1.30, and it was supposed to snow at 2.15 or 2.30. So scrambling around the yard, trying to get ready with a couple last minute tasks. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, we're gonna borrow the battery, uh, 8179KT, to put in a 430. So let's take the hood off and we'll take the battery out. So I got the hood off the 8179KT. I just took the battery out. And it's funny how you look at things and you just say, what the heck did the DPO do? So the gas tank has no straps and it's sitting on two pieces of plywood screwed together. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyways, let's just lay the hood on it for the winter. We'll come back to it in the I spring. I just noticed another problem on this thing. The front grill casting is cracked right there. So I guess we'll have to borrow the grill off the parts 8179 KT for this thing in the spring also. Cool. And right, we got the hood off the 430. Just unhooked this old Costco battery. And so I'll tell you what, that thing lasted is from 2014. <laughs> Two years ago, it still worked. So it lasted a long time. It's totally the wrong size battery. It's a little too fat. So it makes it hard to jump it if you gotta jump it because the terminals are too far to the edge. And these, dude, these connections here are horrible. I cannot even believe that this tractor would even work. There's so much rust down there where it goes on the frame. All right, let's take this out and we'll clean these up a little and. Put the other battery. All right, I got it fired up off the battery, no ether. But we do have to fix that rusty connection. There's smoking down there. I tried to start it, so let's see if I can get that bolt out and uh, we'll clean it up. Yeah, I'll see if we can do that. Looks like a pain in the butt. I hate working on that bolt there. It's not an easy one to get to, but we gotta do it. All right, so I tried to take this bolt out and it's all rusted in there and frozen. And not a project for 26 degrees out and it's about to snow. So we'll just leave it. And if we get to the point where it won't start or something, I'll know what the problem is, but I'm probably gonna end up having to cut the bolt or grind the head off of it or something. It's just a big project that I don't want to get into right now. So I'm going to put the hood back on it. And uh, I'm going to grease up the axle here. There's a grease fitting where the drive shaft goes through. We'll do that too. So I have this tarp. I've used it one time. I had it nicely folded in the garage. And I'm unfolding it. And look. All I gotta say is screw Fluffy, man. Look at this piece of crap. Freaking Fluffy. That sucks, man. Well, I got the tarps on these machines. I finally found something good to do with my collection of old rotors and tires. Holding the tarps down. These are new tarps, so hopefully they'll last the winter. This junk tarp over here that's totally disintegrated on the Commercial 12 is a year old. And the thing is totally trash. So hopefully these new tarps are better than that crap tarp from Harbor Freight. These are Home Depot tarps that are 10 mil. That was a horrible freight tarp. It's snowing pretty good now. I'm sticking to the dirt road. It's snowing pretty good. Snowing good now. Look at that cool wheel horse over there in the snow. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Let's see if it actually snows and if we actually get to use all this rusty junk that we've been working on for the last week or two. I really hope it does because I'm psyched to go snow plowing and snow blowing. All right, hope you liked. Comment. Like, subscribe, guys. More to come.